drop downs are used when you want users to select a value but what if this list of values is very long it can get cumbersome for the user to scroll down scroll up and select the value in that case you may want to implement a drop down search that makes it easier for the user to search for a value and uh, make the selection let me show you in this video how we can do this in our systems So this is my service studio. I'm inside a reactive web application. This app has one entity called customer and these attributes. I've also bootstrapped this entity with some sample data. What I'm going to do next is build a screen where I can demonstrate to you the dropdown search. I give it a title, always a good practice. Drop down search. In this case, uh, this dropdown will have to be bound with a query. So in my case, I want to uh, get the list of the customers out. So I'm right clicking here, fetch data from database, and there I'll drop the entity customer. Let's get the list of customers now, get customers with all those attributes, and it's available on the page. Now, with this, the crucial part of this video is the drop down search itself. So, uh, not a magic, uh, there's a widget available in our systems called drop down search. Just to drag and drop it here, and then bind it to the query that we have just built before it. How to do it just expand go in there get item customers list get customers list ignore the error that is there uh, it's pointed to this part here that we have to map it correctly so value could be maybe the customer name or id and uh, the text would be the customer name so that's how drop down is found do note that there are several other properties also that we can configure for example empty text select a uh, customer and if no results are found, uh, found thing like that. And then uh, the handler, the event itself. So this is where you can uh, create a client action, which is bound to the any change that happens in the dropdown whenever the value is selected or not. And the output of the selected uh, the selection will be available in this uh, dropdown item, which has text and values. How to use it in your form? So basically, uh, I'll give you a shortcut. Copy this and paste this at the screen level. Okay, I'm not re changing the name. So in this case, uh, just convert this to a local variable. And later on, the change will pass on the value of this little item to this one so we can display on the screen. How we'll do this, just drag and drop here. And just the two, the whole item, and we'll pass the value of this little item. Second one, we don't need. And thereafter, we'll just go back and display the selected item okay something like this value and the text and that's it we'll go ahead and publish it almost there let's see how it looks cool so if i click on this i can see the list of customers so that was the use case the list is too long so then you can use this search like Maybe something like this, not just the company. And you can see the selection and the selected value here. Thanks for watching.